Hi guys and gals, it's John and Emily from AFK Books and Records in beautiful Virginia Beach, Virginia. And we have some exciting news to share with you. We're gonna have a pepper party tonight Ooh. at midnight, 12.01 a.m. Friday, because there's a new pepper record right here. Check this beauty out. This is Return of the Dream Canteen, the second pepper album releasing this year. We have a super rare limited indie exclusive that you can reserve right now by calling or messaging us. Um, that is a double LP. Or you might be able to win that if you show up for our midnight party. We're actually gonna raffle two of those off, including, and this is the super rare raffle, look at this amazing foil poster. There were, ah, oh, there were only 250 of these made. Check that out. They are limited, they are numbered. We're gonna have three that we're yep. gonna raffle off at midnight. So definitely worth staying up a little bit later and coming in to join us to pick up your peppers. Yep. Also, um, we've been talking about this for a while, but we have a limited signed indie exclusive CD for the peppers. Yep. Now we held three of those back for tonight. So three of them are gonna be first come, first served at midnight. Otherwise, if you already have your name down for one, uh, you can come in and pick it up tonight and hopefully win one of these, maybe. Um, or you can pay before 8 p.m. Friday tomorrow for the Indie Exclusive CD, and you can call us if you need to do that. Um, but we've got three first come, first serve tonight. If you didn't get in line for that previously, you can come on out and take a shot at that. Yep. Also, for our pepper party tonight, go ahead, Emily. No, you talk <laughs> about these. We'll also have uh, the Indie Exclusive CD with the exclusive cover and bonus track, regular CD, and a pink cassette. Nice. And more swag tonight for everybody that picks this up. And if we have any left over, we'll be able to set you up um, later on. But you've got a cool pepper sticker sheet and little, these awesome lanyards, lanyards while supplies last. Passing. And a normal poster if you don't win the Super Bougie Metallic poster. So that's what we've got. Um, you'll actually be able to pick up any of the releases that we're going to show you here tonight at 12.01 uh, up until around 12.15. As soon as we get everybody rung up, uh, we're going to go home and go to sleep and then start again at uh, 10 a.m. bright and early Friday morning. So now we're going to show you everything else that's coming out. Ooh. We're back! <laughs> Kicking it off with Stooges Funhouse. Iggy and the boys find their troglodyte groove on their legendary sophomore album, which was named one of Rolling Stone's 500 greatest of albums of all time, pressed on half red, half black vinyl. And I'm gonna cut you off. You can buy, get one of these cool little rhino guitar picks if you pick up any of the Rocktober stuff. Next up, we've got television Marquee Moon, the critically acclaimed debut album from the New York Legends gets a fresh reissue for Rocktober on ultra clear wax. A fun fact, the post-punk pioneers were the first band to hold a residency at the famed NYC club CBGB. Next up cool. is Bowie Heroes, his 12th studio album and the second in his Berlin trilogy. He worked on this album with frequent collaborator Brian Eno and producer Tony Visconti. The majority of the tracks were composed on the spot in the studio, the lyrics not being written until Bowie stood in front of the microphone. Press on gray vinyl which begat Joe the Lion made of iron. That's what happens when you when you riff on lyrics. Roy Orbison, King of Hearts, celebrating the 30th anniversary, featuring the Grammy-winning duet Crying with Katie Lang. Producers on the record include T-Bone Burnett, Jeff Lynne, Robbie Robertson, and Don Was. This is an RSD Essentials on limited edition red wax, so that means when it's gone, it's gone, so get it now. Next up, it's Joe P. Emily can't sing. That's true. It's rude. It is I don't rude, care how it, true it, it is. It's true. It's Actually, she, she can sing pretty well. Mm. Anyways, yeah. the singer-songwriter's debut album and first vinyl release kicks off the RSD New Artist Series, which aims to introduce new musicians and bands to fans through physical music at the best place discovering your new favorites. Record stores. Right here. Right here. This is the deluxe edition with uh, two bonus tracks, and we saw him perform on a Zoom call in New Orleans. In New Orleans. Really, really cool. Uh, next up, Sammy Hagar in the Circle, Crazy Times, the Grammy Award-winning singer, songwriter, performer, entrepreneur, and New York Times number one best-selling author, has released his second studio album with his Billboard chart-topping supergroup, which includes Van Halen's original bassist, Michael Anthony, and Jason Bonham, the son of the late great John Bonham. CD only for now, no word on a vinyl release yet, Sammy Hagar on Shiny CD. 
Next is the Allman Brothers live from a &R Studios on August 26, 1971. The unrivaled original lineup set up in A&R Studios in NYC and played a scorching 67 minute set. Pressed on limited pink vinyl for 10 bands, one cause. 2022 marks the ninth year for the initiative that has raised close to $300,000 for Red Door Communities, an organization that provides community support for both those diagnosed with cancer and their caregivers. All right, if you want the 1970, we recommend the Stooges. If you want the 1975, we recommend the 1975, Being Funny in a Foreign Language, the fifth studio album from the English pop group produced by Jack Antonoff, who must not have any free time at all and just produces music 24-7. On clear vinyl, Jack Antonoff, the 1975, clear. It's going to be good. <laughs> Next is Lamb of God Omens. The Grammy-nominated Richmond Rockers return with their ninth studio yes. album. Krang says that Omens finds the Virginia Metal Bruisers returning, sounding as reliably heavy, violent, and pissed off as ever. And Randy is a customer. He was in here last year. So cool. Nice. Uh, Sleeping with Sirens, Complete Collapse, the sixth studio album from the post-hardcore Trailblazers. In good company with features from Under Oath's Spencer Chamberlain, Royal and the Serpent, Dorothy, and Charlotte Sands. The band calls this release their hardest hip hit hitting album to date on Easter Yellow Translucent Orange Galaxy Wax. Hardest hip hitting. Hip hitting. Next is Duran Duran, Medazzaland, officially on vinyl for the very first time to celebrate its 25th anniversary. Features a beautiful art booklet with never before seen imagery and photos from the era. Pressed on limited edition 180 gram neon pink vinyl. Next up, Coda Line, Our Roots Run Deep. The Irish rock band brings us a brand new, stripped down, 17 track live album featuring a cross section of the group's most treasured tunes and three illuminating covers on limited indie translucent Ruby 2LP with handwritten set list. Wow. Wow. Must really have a hand cramp, unless they used a photocopier. Anyway, just in time for Halloween. I mean, Halloween. I'm so confused. Halloween, Halloween. What, Halloween, what, what is it? Halloween. This is Halloween. Ah. Um, we've got self-titled, yeah, on blue and white marble, and the dark ride on green. Nice. Next up, we got Money Long, Public Display of Affection, the R&B singer-songwriter's third studio album and debut under her current moniker. Features every song from her prior two EPs as well as six new tracks. She's rocking the tub right there. Look at that. Next up is Ken Carson X. This cover is How I Feel Inside. The rising Atlanta rapper unleashes his hotly anticipated major label debut, released on Interscope and Opium, Playboy Cardi's record label, on Limited White. Uh, this cover is How I Feel Inside. Uh, Garaldi, Charlie Brown Christmas. This deluxe 2 LP set features a brand new stereo mix of the classic album remastered from the original three track and two track sources, as well as 13 unreleased outtakes and highlights taken from five sessions of recording material. Amazing in their own right, these unheard versions give insight into how this iconic score took shape on 180 gram wax. Next, we have Jimmy Hall, Ready Now, the southern rocker and wet willy vocalist and har harmonicaist, uh, is back with his first solo album since 2007. Produced and backed by Joe Bonamassa, it's a major statement in a career full of highs dating back to Jimmy's work with Bo Wet Willy. Uh, next up, we got Brian Eno, Forever and Ever. Actually, Amen's coming up in a few seconds. Uh, the 22nd solo studio album from Eno and his first since 2017. It was recorded and produced by him at his studio in West London and sees him singing on the majority of tracks. It's a sonically beguiling, ultimately optimistic exploration of the narrowing, precarious future of humanity and our planet. Brian Eno. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Rework McIntyre, My Chains Are Gone. A collection of hymns and gospel favorites from the country music icon. It's a mix of songs from her 2017 Grammy Award winning album, Sing It Now, combined with four brand new selections and, acoustic, and an acoustic version of Back to God with Lauren Daigle. And you get this bookmark. Yep. This Daigling bookmark right here. You can get a Reba Bible there, too. There it is. We thought it was defective. There was a, a bulge in Reba's belly and we thought that can't be right. So we opened it up and lo and behold, we found this. Uh, next up, moving on from Amen to no. Oh Hell, uh, <laughs> Satan's Pilgrims Go Action. The Rockers return with 14 action-packed instrumentals on their High Tide debut, paying tribute to recently passed guitarist and founding member Dave Bussucker. It features the jangly guitars, dance beats, and spine-chilling fun that has thrilled fans for over three decades. 
a limited pressing on metallic gold swirl colored vinyl. If you haven't listened to the High Tide folks, they're really good. This is fantastic. If you like the Ventures, yep. any of that garage rock instrumental sound, so great. Yep. Apparently, we've just hit a whole biblical run of records. We have. Next that was have... entirely <laughs> accidental. By Judah the way. and the Lion Revival. Nice. A uh, fourth album from the folk rockers recorded in Asheville, North Carolina. The album is an attempt to recapture the innocence of their youth, embracing the sadness and loss of the last few years and welcoming the future with a renewed energy and spirit that harkens back to their earliest days. Nice. The Cult, moving <laughs> right along, under the midnight sun. The English rock band is back with their 11th studio album, Mojo Magazine, give it four stars, and says it invests those primal energies with the wisdom of age, creating something fresh and powerful. The Cult. I love The Cult. Next, we have Ash Ray. The Cali singer songwriter sophomore album includes the singles Another Man's Jeans and Love Is Letting Go, which features Diane Keaton. Uh, it's on Grape and White Splatter. Uh, next up, we got Introducing Frankie Stein and His Ghouls, the first ever, first ever vinyl album released of this 1964 Halloween classic. An album like this is enough to scare a body into dancing. We listened to it. It just scared us today. <laughs> <laughs> Pressed on ghoulish neon green. We did dance a little, and then we went, oh my god, this is really trippy. Uh, it's really good. Uh, Pressed on ghoulish neon green vinyl. Frankie Steen and his ghouls. And nobody actually knows who Frankie Steen and his ghouls were. Apparently, it's a mystery. There's rumors that it could be like Sun Ra. Yeah. They did a lot of work around that time. That's with really label. cool. Yeah. Mm, um, there's a clue here somewhere. And like the producer that worked with Zappa, I forget his name, but yeah, he had a lot of stuff to do with that label at the time too. Anyway, Interesting. Johnny Winter, Third Degree, on vinyl for the first time in 30 years. Features fan favorites like Mojo Boogie, Evil On My Mind, and Shake Your Money Maker. Next up, Sweet, Fox On The Run, a spectacular greatest hits collection from the proto-glam rockers. Includes alternate mixes and rare versions of the band's biggest singles, including Love Is Like Oxygen, Ballroom Blitz, Little Willie, Blockbuster, and more. This is on gorgeous silver red splatter vinyl from Cleopatra Records. Next is Jake Bug. Jake Bug. 10th anniversary deluxe edition of English singer-songwriter's self-titled debut. The 2LP set was fully remastered at Abbey Road and includes two rare and 14 previously unreleased tracks from Jake's early recording sessions taken from his personal archive. Of this album, Clash Mag gushed precocious talent fusing retro folk with blistering contemporary rock riffs. All right, the Melvin Ryan Quartet, Boss Organ. He was best known for his association with the guitar legend Wes Montgomery in the 1960s. On this amazing album, he shows he was one of the finest jazz players on his instrument. On Boss Organ, which is a pun on Montgomery's classic LP Boss Guitar, on which Ryan also played, he is backed by guitarist Peter Bernstein, drummer Kenny Washington, and tenor saxophonist Joshua Redman. This is on a 180 gram double LP. Next is Wild Pink, I Love You So Much, the New York indie band's follow-up to last year's A Billion Little Lights, a critically acclaimed effort praised by the likes of Pitchfork, NPR, Vulture, and Stereo Gum, who named it one of the prettiest rock records of the past decade. These new tunes are packed on double green wax and address love, loss, life, cancer, death, healing, and more. Uh, next up, Dr. John, Things Happen That Way. Throughout his six-decade-long career, Dr. John embodied a near-mythic multitude of musical identities. Global ambassador of New Orleans funk, jazz, and R&B, visionary bluesman, rock and roll innovator, and massively revered high priest of psychedelic voodoo. On his final studio album, he adds another dimension, a lifelong affinity for country and western. It's a glorious farewell from one of the most essential figures in music history, Dr. John. Next last but certainly not least is Paul Weller Modern Classics a compilation of singles by the super talented Jam and Style Council Frontman originally released in 1998 it features most of his solo singles up to that point as well as a new track Brand New Start this 2 LP gatefold set also includes a live set recorded at Victoria Park London in 98 all right, so that's what we've got. Um, by the way, we're going to stay open all the way up until 12.15 tonight. Again, we can't sell any of these until 12 o'clock tonight, but uh, come on in, hang out with us, flip through some bins, and uh, hope to see you tonight. If not, we'll see you tomorrow. Be well, folks. Bye.